So I just got back from a shoot in Paris and I used the Blackmagic Ursa and um, from my test before I left it was kind of hard to see the screen so I want to make sure I didn't have any issues while on shoot so at the moment I got hold of the FMV Spectra HD4 so it's a monitor and EVF and um, yeah it works really well I just got it on the micro handle here and it looks really good it's got really great features the loop is really nice it's got this little ring at the front so you can um, change it to suit your eyesight make sure you're nice and clear in there sometimes I found on the shoot that I even use this uh, Manfrotto cold shoe hot shoe adapter I pop it on top of the camera and then I put the monitor EVF on top of that because if you're close to like a wall you're trying to do a slider shot and you still need to see what you're doing you obviously can't open the screen because it's massive and you can't put that there because it's around the side so you can put it on the top still see what you're doing which is really cool so it's got the rosette attachment on the side so you can add your handles things like that uh, there's a thread on the bottom I end up always mounting the EVF upside down but what's great about the EVF is it's got a flip function which flips everything perfectly and my red touchscreen doesn't even do that so that's cool battery wise it takes the, uh, the Sony NP F960 batteries and they just go on the bottom there and these are cool because uh, you get them in different sizes they're pretty cheap they charge pretty fast and they're really portable so I guess this um, take you through some of the features so we got color, um, it allows you to do backlight, brightness, contrast, hue, your chroma, your sharpness, color temperature. And the menu is pretty easy to go through. Um, you got the menu button on the top that kind of just gets you in and out. And then you click the wheel to go into that selection of menus and you scroll down and so forth. Um, and to get back to the main left side of the screen, you just press the menu button again. Your display it has that DSLR scale mode, it's so good for DSLR shooters. Um, as I said, the flip screen, which is perfect, you do horizontal and vertical. So it's nice and easy to flip the image in the screen. You just go into the menu, go to display, click on the display, go down to flip mode, and then you just change it to horizontal and vertical. Now, as you can see, plant's on my left, and it's going to left to right. Everything's normal. Now with my red 5-inch touchscreen, I still can't do that. It's uh, The plant would be on the right even though it's flipped and uh, yeah it's just very hard to work with um, but yeah so as you can see everything works perfect you got peaking filters you can change the peaking color you got waveform you got volume so you can plug in headphones through here and still hear what you're doing so the connections are SDI HDMI um, and what's great is the SDI it goes right into the side of the, the Ursa or on the back um, so it's nice and solid that ain't coming out so that's about it for now I'll leave some links below and uh Thanks for checking it out.